you know, I was a huge fan of Disney as a kid. I think the first film I ever saw, I think, was Snow White. So Disney animation was just everything to me. I was just so in love with it. Uh, I think Pinocchio is still on my top ten films of all times. I think it's a work of genius. Uh, and I became a complete uh, addict for Disneyland. Because Disneyland opened, I think it was 1953. I was 13. I was actually in uh, Arkansas with my grandparents at the time. <laughs> and it opened, and it was like one of the great moments. <gasps> Disney, And I rushed off to Disneyland as soon as I get there. And I used to go there almost every other weekend. Because when it first began, it was truly, I thought, a magical kingdom as they sell it. Because you walked in there and you left the real world. There was the only time you saw any reference to the real world was in Main Street, America, which is you walked out. So you could have um, Beacon's Van storage. You could have references to the real world. But once you got through that, you were into this fantastic place. And what amazed me the most about it was just the quality of the workmanship that went into building that pl building that place, because. You're sticking out in the middle of an orange grove, out in the middle of a you know, far part of L.A. that nobody wants to go to, a very brave move. You then build this thing, and the craftsmanship was something I'd never really experienced before. And I think it was the reason I wanted to go to Europe initially, because I was seeing buildings that were the right proportions, and I had seen things done beautifully. Up to that point, you know, fairgrounds were cheap and shoddy and cheerful, but this was something very, very different, and I, I, I couldn't get enough of it. And then I remember going to Disneyland and not being allowed in because I had long hair, even though we were dressed immaculately. We weren't allowed in because the people with bad hair might dislike us and attack us. This was there to defend us against the people who were inside the fence. So my complete, you know, utter shock at what Disneyland had become <laughs> was another reason to leave.